The Ryan VZ-3 Vertiplane, also known by the company designation Ryan Model 92 was an American experimental vertical short takeoff VSTOL aircraft built by the Ryan Aeronautical Company for the United States Army. <laughs> Design and development The VZ-3 was a simple proof-of-concept experimental aircraft using blown flaps to achieve a short or near-vertical takeoff. It was a high-wing monoplane powered by an AVCO Lycoming T-53 turboshaft engine located inside the fuselage driving two large diameter propellers mounted, one on each wing. It had a T-tail and originally a tailwheel fixed landing gear. It had wide span double retractable trailing edge flaps, these were extended into the propeller slipstream for takeoff. To enable control while in the hover, it had a universally jointed jet deflection nozzle at the rear of the aircraft. It was later modified with a nose wheel landing gear. The VZ 3 could make a near vertical takeoff within 30 feet 9 meters at a speed of 25 miles per hour, 40 km per hour, and the aircraft could be put into the hover up to a height of 3,700 feet. 1, meters. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history The aircraft conducted a 21-flight test program for the United States Army until it crashed in 1959. It was rebuilt with an open cockpit lengthened fuselage and handed over to NASA for further trials. Following retirement the VZ-3 is on display at the United States Army Aviation Museum. Operator United States United States Army NASA Topic Specifications Data from Jane's 1976 General Characteristics Crew 1 Length 27 feet 8 in 8.43 meters Wingspan 23 feet 5 in 7.14 meters Height 10 feet 8 in 3 25 meters. Gross weight 2,600 pounds 1,179 kilograms. Powerplant 1 times AVCO Lycoming T53L1 turboshaft 1,000 shp 750 kilowatts. Topic. See also. Deflected slipstream Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Fairchild VZ-5 Dornier Do-29 Related lists List of experimental aircraft